Hey, what's up? I'm gonna be going over the setup of the Ant Miner S7. Um, I know it's the older version of the S9. It's barely profitable today, but with the way Bitcoin's going, I think you should still probably run the S7. You know, you can get some Bitcoins and the price keeps going up, so. And sometimes these can be difficult to get up, set up and running. Okay, one important note about the S7 and S9 are the power supplies and how you hook up the power supplies. You have a few different options. You can use one power supply, but most of those require 220 volt. So on my S7, I use two power supplies. And if you use two power supplies, you need to make sure you hook it up according to this diagram. So you can see here, if you use one power supply, just hook it all up, of course. But if you use two power supplies, you want to hook power supply one to these first two hashing boards, and then power supply two to the second or the third hashing board. And then you want to make sure that power supply one gets turned on first, and then power supply two. And you can also use three power supplies actually, and just hook one power supply. Oh, actually, it looks like. And say no, no, no. Oh, you, it doesn't want you mixing hashing boards with power supplies, so it's saying do not do that. Every hashing board must be on the same power supply, so they get powered on the same time. If you power them up with different power supplies, they could fry the board. So be aware of that. Um, this helped me a lot when I was connecting mine. So I just wanted to throw this in here real quick. Okay. So when you first get this machine, you're gonna to have to connect it to the network. Now you just plug in the network cable, plug the other end into your router. And when you start, it's gonna take a good couple of minutes to get going. If you need to reset it, there's a little hole right here. Just take a paper clip. You're going to hold it in that little hole for about 10 seconds. Sometimes you need to push it, like let go, push it again, let go, push it again for 10 seconds. The red light will come on, there's a red light here. It'll light up and then it'll beep. And then what I did, I just unplugged it, let it reset. And then it'll automatically get an IP address from your network. Once you do that, It'll take a good couple minutes for the red light flash to green light. The green light means it's got a connection and it's processing data. Okay, once you have your machine running, the green light comes on and it's connected to your network, you're going to need to find the IP address of the ant miner. So the IP address on the sticker is not necessarily the IP address of the ant miner. And until you can find the IP address, you're not going to be able to log in to set your pool settings in order to start mining. If you're on a Mac, use an app called IP Scanner. And once you install that and run that, it's going to show you. So you can see here, I got the ant miner. And this is the IP address. So once you find this, you can pull that up in your browser and it's going to give you an ant miner configuration page. If you're on a Mac, I mean if you're on Windows, you can use ipconfig forward slash all to, um, let me show you here, to ipconfig slash all and this is going to give you a screen and you're going to want to look at this IP version 4 address on your network and you should see one for the ant miner it'll say ant miner and then find the IP version 4 this type that into your browser and you'll get to a page just like this and once you get to this page, you want to 
first of all, you can look at the system. All this should have some numbers. If it's not connected right, it'll pretty much be blank. These will be zero. You go to the minor configuration tab at the top, and these are where you put your minor URL pools. I'm using slush pool as my number one pool for BTC. Then I got a secondary through give me coins, BTC, and then a third give me coins for PPC. So you can also use these machines to mine PPC coins. So once you put in your pool information, just come down here, apply and save. And then after a few minutes, you should see some stats in here. Currently it's running a 4.7 giga hash. You know, we got accepted um, transactions and everything's good. It'll show you the temperatures of the, each card. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Happy hashing. Um, sometimes um, your default router will set your network to be 192.168.0.1 um, and you're going to need to change that to 192.168.1.1 so you just need to change your default LAN set setup and what you do is go into your modem which I'm using the modem for this router this router this modem has a router built in if you're ever using a different router you need to log in your default router admin page it's usually 192.168.0.1 so just type that in your address bar and you'll get to a page something like this and then you're going to want to go to the advanced settings go to DHCP settings and this is for the century link Action Tech C1900A modem. Um, Netgear and all the other ones have similar settings. We need to find the IP address. It'll look something like 192.168. Yours will be 0 0.1. Let's update that to be 1.1. This will probably be 0 0.2. Put that 1.2. This will probably be 0 0.254 make that one and then just leave that the same and then click apply and that will go through and update your network if you see this you might want to also update that under THCP reservation if your router has that just this will probably be 0 0.2 and 0 0.101 make those 1.2, 1 1.0, 101 and then apply settings everything's going to reset and you're going to have to you're currently going to be at 0 0.1 you're going to have to type in 1.1 after a few minutes to access the new admin page and then after you do that then you just I would reset every um, switch and router that you have on your network and computers because all the IP addresses are going to change and then you'll be able to see your ant miner because the ant miner uses the 192.168.1.0 it won't find it if it's if your network set up on the 0 0.1 so that's that